motherfuckers. <laughs> Well, this is it. This is how it all ends. I told them not to trust the brain god, but no one ever listens to Frankie. Well, where are they now? Dead. That's where they are. It's been a year since we were trapped in the void by the brain rod Goddington and his rotten partners, the eye god and the ear god. And there is still no sign of escape or of the toe god. I guess... I guess it's my fault, probably. I I tried, you know, to be a good follower. I, I tried to spread her message of madness throughout the dump. But all she did was curse me with a plague of baboons and other nightmarish shit. So I guess, I guess I didn't do it right. Or I'm, I'm just not good enough. Well, you know what? Who cares anymore? You know, the brain god won and, and now I'm all alone on some palm tree planet. At least I have coconuts, and the rotting corpse of Uncle Guts for sustenance, although he's getting a bit rotten. Anyways, if anyone finds this letter in a bottle, please send help to the palm tree planet floating in the void of existence. Thanks, and forever yours, Frankie. Wait, forever yours? God damn it, Frankie. Uh, oh well, too late now. Good luck, Bottle! I love you! I... I love you? Jesus Christ, Frankie. Get a hold of yourself. Far outside the city Beyond the safety of walls We come for you Bringing you some spooks of horror movies Yes, we do Whatever shit that crossed our minds, it's true. We're coming just for you, it's not a hunch. We're trash people from the dump. Well, hmm, what to do? What to do? Should I... Should I make another universe based on a crappy horror movie to torture them with? Or should I... Turn them all into geese? Sir, could you at least make up your mind? Seriously, we've been here waiting for you to make a decision for a whole year. What? What? Your words are nothing more than macaroni. Macaroni? Like, pasta? Pasta. Pasta? Of course! Wait. Pasta. Did I turn them into pasta? Here, what a terrible suggestion! No gold star sticker for you! What if the Elder God returns? Yeah, lies and rumors. And afternooners. Mm, be gone with you and your pasted whispers. Alright, well you seem pretty busy, so I'll just leave you to it. Pasta. Ha! Asshole. So, what did he say? That my words are pasta. Pasta? Yep. I think... I think he's lost his mind, and that we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I hear that. I can see that. Can I just get the last word for once? No. Oh, I really need to get off of this fucking great planet. Oh, really? I remember when we first ended up here and you were like, Come on, baboon. Grapes are delicious. Aren't you excited to eat grapes? We can survive for days on a planet made out of grape. Well, guess what? We've been here a year. How's them grapes? I could really go for a pizza planet right now. <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can stop at a whiskey planet and make a quick detour to cocaine planet for Frank for, uh, for Frankie. I'm sure he's fine, baboon. Besides, the others are probably somewhere out there too. Maybe they're all safe and together. 
Why am I on fire? I hate fire planet. You know, this isn't so bad, really. I think, I think I can live forever on ice cream planet. Yes, yes, I concur. Is there, is there really anything better, better than ice cream planet? I, I hate it so much. No, nothing could be better than an ice cream planet. I guess, if I had one complaint, it could be a bit warmer. Ah! Huh, I have this strange feeling that we're being really inconsiderate of a friend in need. But it's not my fault you got stuck on the fire side of the planet, Kevin! Just, just give me a little bit of ice cream then. Well, we tried that, Kev, and well, the fire, the fire melts it instantly, you know, like we've tried over and over again for a fucking year and still doesn't work. You know, I really am sad for you, you know, that you're, that you are stuck in basically hell while we are, we are in a heavenly place made of ice cream. But then I remember how you stole my game bug video game handheld console. That was only the most important thing in my life ever. So I guess, uh... Fuck you, burn and die. That was 20, 20 years ago, Sparks. <sighs> some wounds, some wounds just don't heal. What? Well, what do you mean you're leaving me for another person? You've never been able to satisfy me, Frankie. I'm a coconut and I deserve good things too. But who could you possibly be leaving me for? There are only so many people. Aha! It was you, Bartholomew. And I would have gotten away with the pickles if only the robotic dildo wouldn't have shaved the... Hmm. Wait. What? What? What am I doing? Oh, that's right. Going crazy! And I would have gotten away with it if only the robotic dildo monster wouldn't have shaved the cat. Well... I guess I'm completely snapped! Is this your bottle? But... But you're dead. I, uh... I ate you. Oh no! I'm not that guy! Why, I'm Captain Guts! The greatest base captain in this storyline. And I'm... I'm here to rescue you. I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to talk to strangers. But I have candy. Well, that's fucking creepy. No. Oh, I mean, I have, uh, drugs and alcohol. And now that's more like it. Thanks for saving us from the great planet, Captain. Well, of course, milady. It's this humble gentleman's greatest honor to help those in need. <laughs> this, this is horseshit. But, uh, you do have a lot of drugs and alcohol. Well, what do we do next? Well, how about we gather up the rest of your friends, and then we'll take you all back home. But, but can we really get back to the dump? Oh, of course we can! You just think about it really hard, and then the ship can analyze your brainwaves and triangulate your home's position? And then I can find it and destroy it once and for all! Um, uh, what? Um, um, <clears throat> I mean, um, take you home and save the day. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's do this. <laughs> Feeling good.
Hey there everybody, and thanks for watching part one of our part two season finale of season two. Um, the next episode, next month, will be the last episode of season two. Then we'll take a little couple month break, and then season three will start up again. Um, and season three is a very special season. Um, if you uh, can't follow the plot of this season two, it's fine. Season three is a completely new plot. Completely restarting, like it. You'll, you'll see when we get there. <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil it too much, but I think season three is either going to be really good or really terrible, which is par <laughs> for the course for our show. Um, we just have one quick announcement to make. Um, <laughs> okay, Saturday, July 20th, Weird War is doing their Summer Bummer double feature again. And this time the double feature is Without Warning, um, a 1980 film, and... Satan's Cheerleaders, which is a 1977 film. Both of these films are directed by Graydon Clark, and he's actually going to be in attendance. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're very prepared <laughs> <laughs> for this. But uh, uh, the Summer Bummer double feature is always an awesome time. Mm -hmm. Weird War puts on some incredible shows. Uh, and they're, they're great people, too. They're mm -hmm. really nice and cool and bring some really interesting things to Portland. So thank you very much, Weird yeah. War, for another wonderful, exciting double feature. So. If you're in the area, get tickets to that because it's really neat. And um, yeah. yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna do? Sit with your thumb up your ass. <laughs> I mean, that's what I normally do on my days off. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, and check out next month. It'll be the season finale, and uh, we will catch you next time.